This is a video reply on the topic of how do you start playing a new system and is a tutorial session worthwhile? Well for us it's worthwhile uh, and the reason for that is that we play from this immersion standpoint. So anything which will distract or detract from being able to get uh, into a reasonable level of immersion is undesirable and one of the easiest ways to be distracted is when the system rises up and slaps you in the face. So, what I like to do is connected to what I do for a living. I work in education and it's hard to be exposed to people trying to learn something without giving some credence to the idea of there being distinct learning styles. So without getting into that, what I like to do is this. We are currently playing a system and our intention is to start playing a new system when this story or campaign or whatever wraps up. So, as we're coming to the close of the campaign, when we're having our post-game chats or discussions, what I like to do is make comparisons to system-related events that happened in the session to what they will be like in the new system. So this gets people preloaded with the idea of what to expect. Uh, more than just the concept of it's a die pool system or it's a target number system or you have to pull a piece of wood out of a tower of wood pieces or whatever. They get a sense of in this situation that I've just played I will have to do something like this. Then as we're getting closer to starting the campaign and character ideas are forming or being designed or being rolled up, as those characters begin to suggest a strength to us or as they're being designed to have a particular strength, then I'll take uh, players aside and if necessary because of the complexity or unusualness of the system, we'll get together and we'll focus on their core area so that they can feel confident there. Just a couple of, of die rolls or just a discussion about uh, what they'll need to do when that that primary skill or area of, of expertise comes up. Then we get together as a group for my final pitch to launch the game and at that point anything that I feel uh, is unusual that we should talk about or discuss uh, that will come up often will very quickly talk about it and then do it and then discuss uh, how it worked and how it compared to what had gone before. Uh, we don't spend a lot of time on it, just enough so that everybody is aware of what will be expected when roles are required or when the system needs to be engaged. Then, if we're doing something special like a combat heavy game, uh, then we'll definitely get into anything that, that has a level of complexity and walk through very explicitly what the stages of that resolution system are. Just a few minutes. So, then we have the first game. And unless something goes wrong, we just keep playing the game. But if something does prove to be problematic, then immediately after that session, I'll arrange to get together with one or more players if necessary to actually go through a, that process again step by step, take notes, and make ourselves comfortable with how to do it or how we are going to implement it until uh, <laughs> greater uh, understanding dawns. So that by the very next time we play, everything flows smoothly. That's how we do it.